in. This is bad cop, bad cop. We are going to fire questions at you. This is an interrogation. It's an interrogation. Mm. It's an interrogation. Interrogation. Um, just answer the questions and you're going to be fine. Just answer them honestly. Just answer them fucking honestly. Don't make jerks out of us. Yeah, don't make me have to go Jew on your ass and, uh, you know. Get are you ready, Ryan? Get oh, I'm, I'm, okay, I'm ready. ready. Yes, okay. yes. All right, here we go. First question. Ryan. Ryan Reese, show business can test your mental stability. As one of the Reese's, has there ever been a time where you went to pieces? <laughs> uh, yes. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you're really uh, doing a comedy if you don't if you don't lose it at least once a month. You just get a, frustrated. A uh, once a month you lose it? Eh. Do you go cra like crazy? Do you call your mom like crazy and you're like fuck? Like I don't I don't want it in this family anymore. Do you like try? Would you go to show up at the airport naked? Like but I'm is trying to get. Is it like Matt? Is it I'm a Kramer to, situation? Crazy, like like what is, what is going crazy? What what is going crazy? What is going me? crazy? You seem so mild mannered. I know you yeah, like you to knock back a drink or two. Though. Oh yeah, I like yeah, yeah. Who doesn't like to have a drink or two? All right. Yeah. But I want we're nine. I hung out with you late. Oh. Right. Look, Vecchione. All right. I don't care for you or your clove cigarettes or whatever you're smoking these days. <clears throat> Let's Your keep fancy cigars. What is a breakdown for you? What is it? What is, what is a meltdown for you, Ryan? Once a month, you say. Talk us through it. Talk us uh, through it. A breakdown for me. Yeah. I don't. Know, I get frustrated like okay. anyone else, and I just say, uh, you know, you, I think uh, has no one ever said that's it. I'm done. Quit in comedy, which is yeah, a nice empowering moment. You keep it professional on stage. You do that off stage. Have I ever lost it on stage? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Have you? No, but I've, 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 uh, I've. Definitely had too many drinks on stage before. Right. And then what did that look like? It's not good. It was after a Christmas party at the comic strip, and then I had a set later on at Dangerfields, and uh, I could, there's only like three people in the audience, but you could hear the woman in the front row go, he's slurring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had times I've almost vomited on the mic. Sorry, it's not about me. Have you ever lost it on stage? Well, this is an interrogation, Ryan, since it's not, the suspect doesn't usually turn it on the cops. Answer the fucking questions, scumbag. I have never lost it on stage. Okay, no, all right. That would be... Okay. He answered the question. He answered the question. I'm going to hit you on. Rock. Oh, no, that's not Justin. true. Oh, okay, whoa. wait, wait a second. He's retracting his former boy. statement. Boy, oh, boy. You're retracting boy. your statement. Go ahead. Boy, oh, boy. I had a bad breakup, and I think you might have actually been around during okay. that time. I was, right. I was really kind of a mess. Okay. I was at the strip a lot, and I was very broken. I didn't have it together. Not I was the, this comic man. strip, not the strip club. Well, I was at those two. Uh, right. But I was I was a broken man. I was very upset. And I was having a back and forth with my ex. And uh, the last thing she had texted me was, I hate comedy. <laughs> and I was like, how could you? She hates you? your comedy? Comedy. She and I was like, comedy. who hates comedy? Like, that's the dumbest thing. Uh, and uh, Does she also show hate food and music? <laughs> and air? <laughs> and sex? <laughs> so I was at the bar. I was very drunk. And I was very upset. And someone didn't show up, and they asked, they needed me to go on. Right. So they're like, "Can you handle this?" But I was so angry and so drunk, I was like, "I can handle anything," and you right. tell my ex that. Right. And I went on stage, and uh, like I, I, I held this together, and I would get a laugh off a joke I had. But then, as soon as the laugh ended, I was just, I was just ranting about this girl, and the audience had no idea what I was doing. Right. I was just literally like, "She just texted me. She hates uh, comedy. Do you believe that? <laughs> that's can odd. you do you even understand how sick that is?" And these people in the audience were just like, "Why is he yelling at us?" I know some really comics that that's their whole act. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a bad sad. one. Fell apart on stage, man. Ryan, you are from Long Island. The Long Island Expressway is my favorite road because I enjoy a good L-I-E. Mm -hmm. What's something you haven't been truthful about? There it is. In what sense? There mm -hmm. it is. I'm, I'm leaving it open for you. What have I lied about? What do you lie about? Give us a good lie. What I, do you I, lie I, about? What do I lie about? Tell us the truth. I'm going good cop. It's, it's is there anything you want to unload from yourself just to free yourself? What, what do I lie about? Yeah. Uh, like a common line? I don't know. My grandma's sick, I can't show up to blah, blah, blah. Anything like that? Come on. I do that once a week. I don't get, I don't have places to go. <laughs> it's, I'm not turning down no. offers. Mm. No. All right. I don't know. I'm sure I do lie. I just don't know. You have to. You have to narrow it down. You right. can't say, what, what is that? What about in relationships? A life lie? What about in relationships? Do you to... lie about your income? About money? Yeah, about money. I'm wealthy. I'm Your height on wealthy. a dating site. Uh, yeah, maybe I give myself an inch. He gives himself yeah. an inch on a dating site. Of 
course. Give them an inch, you'll take a mile. And it. Thank you. You're so fucking generous with my tit. I just. Uh, she knows where her bread is buttered. Wait, wait, what do you lie about? No, 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 no. What do I lie about? Ryan Reese. This is everything. Don't answer that. I'm sorry. You don't have to answer that. You're a fucking bad cop. Sorry. I mean, I said I was really excited to be here. That's that was hurtful stuff. That was hurtful. Hurtful stuff. Okay. Ryan, your dad is a lawyer. Wow, he is. Good Could call. your dad help me if I was molested by the Boy Scouts? Because there's a lot of those commercials on. And I didn't originally think I was molested by the Boy Scouts. But now that I've seen so many of those commercials, it's traumatizing me. And I think maybe, you know. Were you, were you in the Boy Scouts? I'm being molested by the commercials. Were you in the Boy Scouts? I was not. I was in the Indian Guides, which is a lower grade version of the Boy Scouts. He's in the Italian Boy Scouts. It's called the Mafia. He's not wrong, though. I've... Finally. Uh, Yes, my father could help you with that lawsuit if you were in a car with the troop leader at the time he was molesting you and had gotten a car. Because he only goes... Personal injury. Personal injury. Personal injury. Have you ever wanted to be a lawyer? I follow up questions. Have you ever wanted to be a lawyer? Do you object to this line of questioning? I have wanted to be a lawyer in the past. Right. Uh, I do not object to this line of questioning. What stopped you from becoming a lawyer? Really? Yeah. Yeah, really? These are real qu- Hello? Are we in a dream sequence? These are real know, fucking you're, questions. You're wearing a mustache. Yeah, I'm wearing yeah, it. He grew the mustache. I was like, you couldn't keep the mustache he had from the movie? Uh, uh, that one honestly, was Honest to God, yeah. I, I didn't pursue it um, because uh, me and my father have a very uh, contentious relationship. Mm-hmm. And uh, my mother was pretty clear in the fact that she's like, if you do this... He's going to make you work for him, and he's not going to pay you anything. He's going to send you to the worst hospitals in the world. You're going to try to get him clients. It's going to be a god-awful life. Don't do this. Recent sons. So I was like, that's a really good point. He would do that. So I was like, nah, I can't. What's the contention? I have. A, I had a, a contentious relationship with my father. Me Loving, too. But contentious, and Justin also. Yes. So I think we're all in the same boat. Uh, or car, if we're talking legal uh, reasons for your dad. Okay, we're all on the same station wagon. Um, uh, what what does that stem from? Just- uh, you know, like, uh, yes, he loves me, but I we just never got along, and he just never, uh, he was a bully. He still is a bully. He's a bully. Boys and their dads, Always dude. bullied me. They always bullied you. Always still does. Yeah. But I have two sisters that he's not that way with, right. and he was very much that way with me. So, you know. Can I follow up? No, I think that's great. How how much like but hence your foray into comedy. I mean, I think I think a little bit of that troubled shit with our folks like that's everybody's to a certain degree. You need you need that fucking struggle to have overcome to do this to do this gig uh, properly. I think. I don't know. I don't know what his goal is. It's he's never. Uh, no no no. I'm not never, saying he's never given me the like. Hey, not, good job. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like hence your foray into comedy. It's like it takes a little bit of like a struggled past. To, like do this. You need yeah, some, yeah. you need some fucking. Yeah, but crafts. I mean, I'm on Ryan's side on this one. I know you're uh, trying to be the devil's advocate here. It's almost like you're trying to be his father in this situation, <laughs> bullying him <laughs> and trying to make him relive it. But no, I'm gonna take a side on this one. It's like a lot of that's unnecessary. It's like why can't we just have a loving relationship? No, why has it got to be this contentious. You're missing my point. I'm no, saying I get your point. If you don't and have you said it's good for comedy. No, because you're always thinking from the business angle. That is a good point. You're a piece of garbage. I'm Jewish. That's why I'm thinking from the business angle. Ryan, you do a warm up for the Late Show with Seth Meyers. Mm. What do you do to cool down? How do you cool down? Warm up guy cools down. Those are the headlines. I think you outed Fill me as a drunk earlier, so <laughs> I guess I like to have a couple of drinks. Yes, Ryan will not. You're a back. friend of the cocktail. Yeah, but I don't. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I like. Uh, I like a drink. Mm-hmm. I like it. There's nothing wrong with that. Right? No, there is nothing wrong with it. It's happy hour somewhere, right? I saw. I saw that on a mug. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Uh, when I would warm up for a wrestling match, uh, sometimes I would do jumping jacks and then get pinned. How do you handle a loss? <laughs> Where's the loss? How do you handle a loss, either on stage, in the business, in your life? How do you handle it? Do you have a lot of negative self-talk, like Justin and myself? Or do you uh, recover quickly and go, hey, this is a temporary setback? Perspective. 
Where's your perspective? Depends on what, what, what. All right. So if if it's a, a show or something that's important, that means there's probably someone in the audience, and it matters. Right. Those losses Stakes. are hard to take because then you reevaluate everything you did. I stepped left when I should have stepped right. right. Why did I say this? Why did I do that? Right? right. But if it's just a show and it's not going well, I could probably have a good time, but yeah. they're not going well. Right. Uh, a loss in life. I mean, it, I, the I, loss of just, that girlfriend did not. No, yeah, that yeah. well, that's because I let someone in. That was a mistake. Yes, you, Mike has said I'm a pretty closed off, serious guy. R- right, I let someone in, but and no, they that's made a not mess a, of it. They made a mess of it. That's not a mistake. You have to open yourself up. You have to open. That's how you grow. You have to take the hurt and then move forward. I think what Mike and Ryan are talking about is being uncom- being comfortable with vulnerability, and that, listeners, is the NDP way of life. <laughs> Oh, the MDP way of life, life, life. Be water, my friend. Continue, Mike. <laughs> Ryan, so you think it was a mistake to open up? Uh, I trusted the wrong person. Right. I opened up to the wrong person. But don't you learn from that? I mean, I, I don't know. All right. I don't okay. Know. All you right, you, open, you open up to us. This is a safe place. Yeah, you're both safe guys. Except yeah. During this interview. But oh, otherwise. Justin's, uh, he never uses protection. You guys are the nicest bad cops. <laughs> He's not that safe. He's not that safe. I'm so, uh, am I, was this news? Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, how about in a, pro- in a professional life? Do you beat yourself up over a bad show? Do you beat yourself up over missed opportunities? Sometimes. It depends. Is it my fault? Yeah, it's your fault. Oh, you you yeah. fucking screwed the pooch. No offense. Mm-hmm. On this one. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know? Mm. I, I did. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, or you're doing pull-ups and then a dog bites your ankle. <laughs> and then you have rabies, but you won't tell anybody. You just act angry. It's a little Something bit, like that happens. It's, not, it's a little bit of a fucking rash, okay. Mike. All right. It's not rabies. Right. It's Calm like, down, I think it's guy. from the heat. I get Calm itch, I down, chafe. big guy. <sighs> Ryan, how do you handle it professionally? Something doesn't go well. <laughs> I, you know, I used to be able to just go do more shows, maybe, that, maybe right. but we don't have that anymore, so now you just sit with it. Are you in therapy? I no. Okay. All right. I'm open to the possibility. Yeah. I have not gone down. Well, my ex was a therapist, so I have Oh, shit. You know what? I got a, I got a, I got a grudge oh, against therapists. Message, message to Ryan's ex. Yeah. Good riddance to you. Message, you don't deserve him. You don't deserve to, him. Message to Ryan's ex. You don't get somebody involved in therapy, rip their fucking heart out, throw it on the street, and then leave them, okay? That's not therapy. Maybe that's therapy in your world, but that's not therapy in our world, okay? Hey, message to Ryan's ex. Comedy doesn't suck. (laughs) You suck. And you didn't suck good. That's why you're out. That was a good one. All right? (laughs) And we heard about it. All right. Message to Ryan's ex. You think that you're going to tell us that comedy sucks and then leave the situation? You came in, you opened a guy up, and then you left him a fucking mess. And then y- you add that comedy sucks also? You know what? You suck. And like like Justin said, you didn't do it very well, apparently. Message to Ryan's ex. Let me tell you something. Thank you for what you did, because Ryan's going gay now, and I'm going to be his fucking lover, and I'm going to suck great. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Mike, go Thank ahead. God there was no horn. Oh, there will be later. <laughs> Ooh. There it was. Go ahead. Ryan, you made a documentary about comedy. Is there any fear that the Tiger King will get out of prison and make another doc to overshadow your doc? Or Michael Jordan will come out of retirement to give you a run for your money? They say Jordan's very competitive. Are you worried about oh, other documentaries sh- popping up? Shit, other documentaries. I want to do a documentary on this podcast. Okay. How We're it open came books. together. We're I, open books. I, you're wearing fake mustaches. Yeah. Um, fake is a matter of opinion, you know? I call it, it's more invoking. Yeah. Is what we are. These are emotional mustaches, emotional support mustaches. Well, That's you, been Bad Cop, Bad Cop, everybody. You held up very good under pressure, Ryan. This is the worst part. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, this one's gonna hurt, buddy. <laughs>